Hi, my name is Gustav and I'm working with the incredible music machine. This video is to is made to demonstrate how you make music with or for the incredible music machine. So it's aimed for those uh, producers or musicians who have some skills in Ableton Live, which is the software we're working in. And, um, and we're just basically uh, going to sh show you a little bit about the setup and, and what we do and the plugins we've written. Uh, the Incredible Music Machine is an interactive dance floor with uh, levers and, and buttons and pumps that you can push and pull and drag to affect the music. And we've, uh, we've constructed, this is, uh, this is what's becoming a, a lever. So, uh, we're going to be working with these kind of uh, machines. Uh, this is the uh, this is the actual uh, brain here. This is a little box where we uh, will be connecting all the um, uh, all the devices that we uh, that we're building. We're building both here in Gothenburg, in Stockholm, and in Los Angeles. Uh, but we're not going to be working with that now because this video, for this, for the purpose of this video, I, I've just mapped this all to this little mini keyboard. So I'm using these uh, instead of the big le levers and I'm using the, the keys here for instead of the, the buttons we'll be using. Uh, so just show, show, to show you how to work with interactive music and, and what our thoughts around this is. So uh, this is a set for Ableton Live. And what I've done here is that I've made a couple of songs, but I've, I've actually placed three of them. You can see the first section starting the first song, second one, and third one. So it's actually three songs in the same. So it's a mix set, which is about 21 minutes currently, uh, about 21 minutes long. Uh, so that we can keep running this over and over and it won't loop too soon. So I have three songs in the same live set. And I'm just going to uh, show you, um, I'm just going to start it up. And, um, and this sound we have here, uh, we can of course affect. And because, we, so, uh, let's see. So um, here I'm affecting the cutoff obviously of this this background sound uh, but we've made a little fun tool here because uh, since we we don't want everything to be just what you do is what happens and we want people to work so we built a little plugin called the incredible music machine uh, derivative derivative which basically take the derivative of the movement in uh, a device and and make it into a, 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 a signal that we can use as a, the, the, the modulation for the channel. Uh, so here I'm not actually, nothing happens when I'm moving this, but if I move it quickly, so basically if we're uh, pumping this, it'll go up. And this is this little uh, plugin we're using here, and it's got a lever here which is connected to the lever, which is what I'm putting. And you can see the current output that's being outputted into the uh, synthesizer as uh, a modulation uh, MIDI. Uh, so that's one sound that we have running right now. Another sound that we have running is okay, nothing. Uh, oops. There's a little glitter sound. And this is done by our second tool that we built, which is a little pitch generator, uh, a note generator. It, it actually, uh, for every change here in the, uh, in the, on the um, rotary, uh, it generates uh, notes. So we can, if we move on in further into the song, uh, I actually have a different one that we can uh, listen to. Um, I'll be no. Let's, let's go here. Oh, that's loud. Let's turn it down just a little. 
So, as you can see, as I'm moving this, and this gives the opportunity for a, a participant to improvise their own uh, little melody in the song. And doing this by pulling a lever or uh, stepping on a machine or doing something like that. Uh, and this is made by the, little, uh, the in incredible music machine pitch player. And the pitch player is basically, it's got the, the pitch here and that's what we're uh, moving up and down. And every time that changes, it generates a note which is run through um, a simple scale uh, device so that we can actually, uh, in, in this device, we can of course change throughout the song so that the player will always be in tune. Of course, we can do a second uh, lever or a second device that controls, for example, the cutoff or some kind of effect on the sound. But here, we're just uh, playing this little metal. Of course, one big thing that we can do, and we're doing this with IR, um, infrared um, uh, triggers, and as well as buttons that we're building into. You can, if you go online and check our YouTube channel, you can see a little baby we made for the, uh, the regional burn here. We made a little baby when you squeezed it, it made sounds. Uh, and uh, for that, we're just simply using um, um, uh, triggers. And because uh, Live won't let you uh, connect CC triggers to uh, these buttons, uh, we need to remap them to, um, to MIDI, normal MIDI notes. So we made a little CC to instrument or CC to note thing where you actually, you connect your CCs uh, to, to these buttons and you uh, decide your velocity and it'll go in there. But this is stuff that we can set up on while we're setting this up on the other side uh, for the performance. And uh, so here we've just made a couple of... sounds in the um, in this view too so you can synchronize them here we were not synchronizing with the beat but you can of course do that too uh, what the music machine provides you with is we'll have four analog inputs that'll give you between 0 and 127 uh, those can be connected to for example cutoff um, filters um, free, uh, the frequency of an LFO that in, in turn controls the filter. Uh, it can be used to play melodies, it can be used to, um, as we've seen before, we, you can put it on uh, two filters, a low pass and a high pass filter, so you can mix between two channels. Um, and of course, uh, and then we have eight triggers that are just basically on off position. So that's what you have to play with. You have uh, four analogs and uh, ten and eight digital switches, and these are all different characters. And since we're basically improvising every step we're building, we are not actually really sure how all of these bits will look. And every performance, every time we put up this machine, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, today is Tuesday, 
and uh, Tuesday the 9th, and on the 10th tomorrow, we'll actually put this up for the first time in front of an audience, so you can get, you'll get some more video coming up after that event that we put it together. Uh, but, you know, every event is going to be a little bit different. But I've demonstrated here in this video uh, a little about how we look at interactivity. Uh, the song still has a progression in this, in, in, uh, of course you can do this in different ways, but in this song uh, we have a progression with uh, three songs within the set, and we have some sounds that run throughout the songs, uh, some uh, channels here which are uh, uh, triggered on and off throughout the, uh, throughout the track, uh, switching, between, switching the, uh, the devices between different sounds. And um, I've shown you the, uh, the CC3 instrument, the pitch player, and the derivative thing. And those are, of course, things that we can change. And, you know, uh, it's, those are written in, in uh, Live Max. So you'll be able to change up those plugins. And um, basically, we'll, we'll just do a Skype or whatever. If anyone's interested in writing their own music, for the machine, uh, let us know. It's a very flexible framework. We're just getting MIDI from all these uh, crazy devices. And we're trying to figure out, we're figuring this out ourselves, how do we use interactivity and how do we play with this. So please join us and uh, contact us. We, we're on info at incrediblemusicmachine.se. That's Sweden, incrediblemusicmachine.se. And, um, well, we'll see you at Burning Man, if nothing else.